Hello, YouTube. I'm Vinny Badabucci. How you doing? Welcome back to another NHL 21 Goalie Be a Pro. And I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. Let's just get to the playoffs. I mean, we're already on March 26th, right? We got the Rangers one in the playoffs. I mean, look at this. This is all we got left. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to... This might be my final start for the regular season. So, who knows? Um, but, yeah. I'm definitely going to have Arizona wear those beautiful Kachinas. Dude, are we really about to not even be able to see an alternate Blackhawks home uniform? I'm going to be sad if I don't get to play another one. Kind of figure it be up 2 nothing. I believe I said it to pro. I don't know. Oh, man. That's so nice. What do we got? Oh, wait. That's the reverse retro. Is this one the colored? Yeah. What about this? Ooh. And let me start from the beginning. Because I remember I did one before. I'm not wearing these. Um, okay. Just the classics. Okay. Nope. That's colored. Oh, that's right. I d yeah, we did wear that one. That one's the next one, huh? What's the difference between this one and that one? That one basically looks like the same thing, practically. This one is definitely different. Let's do it. And they're going to wear their Pachinas. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I had to wear the reverse retro. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. I got an all-star. You know what? I don't even care. If I lose the damn game, I lose the damn game. <laughs> We're up to nothing though. I don't know. The goalie be a pro. I just feel like it's just kind of there, you know, because it's like I'm just not good at it at all, you know. But I, that's why I said it's like we get to the playoffs and stuff. I'll finish up the other series, the expansion franchise, the defenseman being a pro, and then I'm personally taking a break. But the videos will keep being uploaded because I need to get them a lot closer than what they're at now. I can't stand where I'm like, you know, like a month and a half behind. Wow, I do not like these Blackhawk uniforms at all. We look like prisoners. Jeez. Arizona looks awesome, though, as they always do. I like probably the green one better, but I'd like to see the green one return. But this purple one is really nice, though. Not as nice as that Kachina, though. But I just wanted to see it. Oh, bad turnover. Yeah, well, another. Oh my, oh my God! <laughs> I'm gonna say another third period. Where, I mean, the stimulation has been too kind to me, too kind. Um, and I'm just gonna wreck it again. This is on pro. Maybe I could keep it, but we'll see. No, God, I thought that was the goal there. It's coming. I know it is. Oh my God! What a save! Let me hold this. Mikhail Granlin leads the team in points. Really? Bro, I love those uniforms. Why couldn't I ever get drafted to Arizona? I did an NHL 16, but they didn't even have the Kachinas. They didn't have this purple one, man. Like, man. But I enjoy playing for them, though. I like their uniform. I'm sorry, guys. I just got to check out the, the replay. How often do I have, like, these awesome one-timer saves, you know? I was just like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, no. Puck went right across. I mean, granted, if he was a lot closer, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that hard to stop it, but still, it was nice, though, that I did. And I was there for it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my God. I don't know how I'm making these saves. Oh, my God. Cover. Oh, boy. Did I just trip my own guy? Am I supposed... Wait. No? Am I not going? Well, I thought it's a delay. Yeah, it was a delayed penalty on Arizona. That's why I was leaving. To, so they can get the extra attacker out. But it didn't. Okay. Cool, though. I was going to say, I honestly hope we don't score because it takes some more pressure off of me. Or not. There you go. <laughs> I love sometimes it's audio record recordings. He's like. Moves down with the puck. Stop there with the glove. Takes the puck back. You know, like. <laughs> <clears throat> Some of that shit is just too funny. 
But yeah, I mean, we're right at the playoffs. So like I said, I just need to, ex to finish the expansion franchise mode and um, the Calgary defenseman. And that's all I'm going to have to worry about. You know, I'll get through the playoffs with the Rangers be a pro. Oh my God. Dude, how am I making these saves? <laughs> like seriously, how am I doing this? I don't understand. Oh my God. Woo. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> yeah, I did. I thought this was going to be an easy one because it's like, oh, we're on the, the power play, you know? Uh-oh. Uh oh, God. Trying to press. Challenge the shooter. There was no shooter. And. Oh, my God. It just trickled wide. I'm glad I left it on All Star. Oh, my God. Thank God they missed so much. Like, even at All-Star, they missed the net so fucking much. But on Superstar, I know, that's like that shit's like laser focus, like laser accuracy. Like, it's going to make it every time. But yeah, I'm excited, though, to finish up some of these series. It's like about time. And then, I, like I said, then I can take a break, go do some stuff on the 360 that I got to do that I haven't finished, you know, and... Just upload the video. Because like I said, dude, it's ridiculous. Like, I mean, it's May 18th, and I'm uploading videos from April 9th and 10th. Like, I, I can't. It's too much. Okay. I can say, also, I'm thinking about if I can do it. If I'm not mistaken, you can do it without also an Elgato and stuff. But I believe you can live stream. If I can live stream, I think I'm going to do that instead of having so many videos. Because I got, like, hundreds of videos right now. You know what I mean? I'm probably, like, behind, like, 100, 150 videos, I swear. It's just so many of them. I was going to pass it. I'm, I'm glad the whistle blew. That would have gave up a goal right there from passing it. But if I can live stream, once I'm all caught up, I would totally live stream and be able to do the series. Like, you know, maybe people will watch it then. I don't know. And if not, at least I can get through so many of them and I won't have so many videos without people watching. Because it's like, right now, I just feel like... It's like I'm literally talking to no one. Like, I know, like, essentially... Every YouTuber does that. Nice goal. Um, but, you know, I, I understand that. But, like, I mean, literally, like, nobody's, like, really watching the video. I can't believe I uploaded a fucking triple overtime game. A Washington and Boston Game 7, and not one person's watched it yet. Like, that's kind of, that's heartbreaking. I was like, dude, that's, like, one of my best videos. Because, it, it, like, you know, not so much there's something that I did, but... It's just the way the game was. Like, you couldn't script that, you know? I mean, maybe EA could. I don't know. Oh, it's going to pass it. Anyways, but... Like, you couldn't write a better story is what I mean. Especially with Washington and Boston actually playing in the first round. I thought people would be watching it, you know? Maybe that's the problem, too. The playoffs are on, so, like, nobody's really... You know, and I keep uploading these damn videos during the games, and I don't mean to, but, you know, yeah. I don't know, <clears throat> but, anyways, I know it's getting crunch time, and I'm just trying not to, like, you know, let it get to me mentally. Just keep doing what I'm doing, talking about random things or whatever, and just not worry, because once I start worrying, I start panicking, and I give up goals. So let's not even worry about that. Dude, those uniforms are so nice, though. I know, I'm sure there are people that hate it. You know, some uniforms I like people hate. Like the Seattle Seahawks, their neon green color rush. I absolutely love it. I I really do. I fucking love it. As so many people hate it. I know they do. You know, but... Man, well, to be fair, Chicago is doing really good with the fuck. I mean, they're, they're just killing off the time. I mean, look at this. We're already down about to be in the last minute of play. And they still have the puck. They just killed off like two and a half minutes for me. And they keep going. Oh, my God. How do you not score that? Damn. Okay. Now it's really crunch time. What am I doing? Oh, my God. Thank goodness I got back and cleared that there. 
Please keep the puck as long as you can. But see him now also getting like a little rusty and panicky. Oh my god. Come on, go, go, go. Keep it out, keep it out. There you go. Get the puck, get the puck, get the puck, get the puck. No. Oh. See, this is why I gotta hold triangle. <clears throat> there you go, come on. Come on, 13 seconds. Just hold it. No, don't turn it over. There you go, get it back. Yes, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, my first legitimate shutout. Hell yeah. Well, I don't know if you consider it a legitimate shutout because I didn't play all, you know, three periods. But, dude, this was an all-star. It did look easy. It almost felt easy. It was weird. Now, you know, I got to be the first star of this game, dude. I mean, oh, wait, I'm trying to go to... Where's settings? Well, I'll, I'll show you guys after the video. I just want to see some of my saves, dude. I can't believe it, though. I got a legit shutout. Yes, let's go, dude. 34 saves. Damn, well, I ain't going to be going anywhere anytime soon with, with me keep doing this. That's okay, though. I need my attributes up. I need my overall up, you know? I didn't face a lot of shots at all, you know? Probably only, like, maybe, like, five or something, right? Or where was it? I faced eight shots. We only had four. For real? Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm sure if I faced 13 like the other two periods, I'm sure there would have been at least a goal given up there. But, dude, that is, now that's a legitimate shutout for me because it wasn't on semi-pro and it wasn't on pro like the other ones. This one was on all-star. You know, and as far as I'm concerned, all-star, you know, it, hey, it, no shame in that. But, anyways, here's James. Who wants to know, would you put the kid amongst the top 10 puck stoppers in the league right now? Uh, I think so. I, I think I would have to. I mean, it's hard for me to, to look at some of the veterans that would be in that group and say, yeah, I'm going to put this rookie in here who's, you know, has so much smaller body of work. But if we're talking about right now in this year, um, I think Tiago can be happy that, that his guy is among the best in the league. He's been a, he's had a terrific year. Yeah, I think the numbers don't lie based on what he's done so far this season. Okay, guys, I am back. But so, just before I uh, go to the next one, we're going to save real quick. And then I want to check out the, uh, the, the thing. Well, anyways, actually, I'll end the video here. But I'm going to continue simming like the last one. And if I do get a cutscene, then, well, the video will continue. If it doesn't, well, then, you know, then... And will the video end? <laughs> so, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Peace out, everyone. Bye. Okay, so if uh, listen to this, that means we get a cutscene, and then the next one. Honestly, I could probably play more than one game, though. I never thought about that. Dude, look at Patrick Kane, though. Ninety-eight points. I just want to see how many games we played, so it's easier for me to remember. Okay, everybody's got something kind of different. We play. This was game seventy-six. Okay. I don't remember what the last one was, but this was game 7-6. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Hey, Patrick Kane, though, about to get 100 points. I don't think he's going to beat his 110, though. Okay. Let's him to the next game. We'll be getting into April soon. Yeah, I'm only a 75 overall. Oh, hold on. What do we got here? Training. Ooh, six hours. Yes, I'll... <laughs> Boy, do I need training. Uh, what do I need it in, though? A lot. Not worried about passing. Anything in the 70s? Besides endurance and, and durability and passing. Now, everything else is kind of covered. Hmm. Okay, so then what's the lowest? 283s. We got 82, 82, 82, and 80. Hmm. 82. Okay. Okay. This just barely got to 82. This is almost to 83. I could do one, two. Oh, yeah. Then I get it to 83, huh? Yeah, let's do it. We'll do recover. We'll do recover. Get that to an 83. Okay. We'll sim the game. Should be able to change my hair soon. Cool. Add some more facial hair. Completely get ready for the playoffs. 
Because obviously we're going to be in the playoffs. Some that game. Won that one as well. Ah, yes, Winnipeg, my old team. Damn, not playing that one either, huh? Okay, well, I'm going to go edit my guy. I'll add some facial hair to him. Should have his normal hair back now. It's perfect. I, I, oh, wait, he does have his normal hair back. Never mind. Okay. Add it to the beard. There we go. He says, I'm ready for the playoffs, even though I won't play a single game. <laughs> the only way that'll happen is if they completely lose trust in him, but the game doesn't do that. Like, if you're the starter, you're going to play every game. They're never going to put in the backup, no matter how bad you do. Like, only during the game, but they won't do something like a human would do. You know, like they do in real life, being like, hmm, he's not playing that well, but the backup came in, and, or, you know, we're going to ride the hot goalie, but, nope, they won't do that. So, since I'm a backup, I'm doomed to never play a game in the playoffs until I become the starter. And that's okay, I don't need to be the starter. I like simming through the season real quick. I'm just wondering if I'm actually... Oh, I am going to get a start. Oh. Uh, Ray Ferraro joins us here to, uh, finish well, here's James. How are you, buddy? I'm good. I'm uh, looking forward to the end of the year. It's been a long year, and we're getting into the best part of the season now. Yeah, yeah, crunch time, second season, and there's also votes that have to be in for awards. Uh, we were talking about a few of these, a few different texts. Um, the Calder. Uh, fair to say we can rule out the young goaltender here, right? Uh, that's that's kind of an easy one his season kind of fell apart a little bit on him and uh, I don't think that has anything to do with what I think he might be in the future I think he's got a a good career in front of him but this year he didn't play at a level that would keep him in this Calder Trophy conversation no and especially when you look at some of the other rookies and what they've done I mean there's been some dynamic performances throughout the Let's take a look at the scoreboard and what went down tonight on the ice. The Kings were hoping to play. Okay, guys, I am back. So, actually, this is actually going to be kind of a longer video because we're going to we're going to play this game. We're going to go right into the playoffs, even if we got to sim every game. And uh, let's just do it, man. And since that is a central opponent we finally get to wear an alternate at home i'm so happy let's go wow we're up four to one okay well it'll be an all-star again so hopefully i don't completely blow this lead um do we have an alternate no they were the thing is i've seen them wear this though this uniform during the season but because you know reverse retros this year we yet to see it so we'll do that What's, oh, that's their alternate. What's, oh, that's right. That's their reverse retro. Yeah, we'll just have them wear the regular road. That's fine. <coughs> Alright, man. Let's just do this game then. Shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. Finish it up. You know, instead of having a whole other video. Although maybe I should have done another video, but because we got the cutscene, that's why. You know. And I forgot to mention what game this is. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. Yeah, there we go, an alternate. Whoop, whoop. I apologize, guys. You know, if I'm the backup goalie next time, I'll just wear whatever I feel like wearing. Oh, my God. I tried to get back. I tried, dude. Yeah. I tried so badly to get back, but he, like, just took a little too long with that, and I slid, dude. I used that right analog stick. I'll show you guys what I mean. Damn, that sucks, though. That sucks. He shot that, and I was like, go, and I tried so badly. At least it looked like I tried with the effort. Maybe I should have, oh, I should have done X, or a uh, square. I should have went like that. Yeah, or circle. Okay, so obviously no shout out this game or anything like that. You guys might need to score again, though. Dude, I'm loving these uniforms, though. See, like, when I see them, on, like, when I was watching a game when they would wear them, I was like, nah. Oh, I like them, but not like I like them in this game. At least the back part of it. You know. Um. <coughs> but, I mean, it, it, no, it's not better than what they normally wear. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> what a fucking save. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta see what happened there. Why didn't that go in? He didn't flick it up far enough? Or, you know, I didn't mean to go down like that either. I just wanted to do the save. Oh, it got deflected. Okay. So, once it got deflected, I guess it just, like, defaulted to doing that. Oh, okay, and it went off the stick. Alright. I don't like... It's like cheating. Okay. Oh, I moved right out of the way for it. Son of a bitch. See, this is what I've been trying to fix now. I'm going to blow this game for us. Anyway, as far as the call the trophy, yeah, I knew I wasn't going to win that. I don't really care. Although my winger and the Rangers should have won it. I'll have to check the awards. I forgot to check that. But, anyways. I said you guys are going to have to score. And I can't get that puck. You guys are going to need to score. I mean, like, this is early and I've already given up too. You might need to score twice. There you go. And he didn't score. They got Craig Anderson. Bro, what the... Man, he's been doing alright for Washington, though. Kind of. Although, they had that game. They were up 3-2, to two and they fucking... Wow, well, the referees blew that, man. It, it fucking... It, dude, I, it, them referees are so biased against Washington. And I'm never one of the types of people to ever say that about referees. But it is blatantly obvious how much they're fucking rigging it to try and get Washington out. And I really think it's because of Tom Wilson. I think the referees have this thing against them. You know, because they have Tom Wilson and all that. You know, other than that, I don't think they have any other reason to be against them. You know, it's just, uh, like I said, I'm never, oh my God. I am never one to, you know, always blame the refs. Like everybody, every time their team loses, they blame the refs. And I'm not that type of person. Like if I feel like they did a good job officiating, I will say so, you know, but you know, the referees can be really bad. We've seen that so many times and it's so blatant in, in this one, man. That, that that goal that tied the game, that should have never counted. That was goalie interference, at least from what I had seen. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of blurry to me now, but I just remember them, they, they just kept shooting, trying to, you know, like, basically whack at it, and it was just, I'm like, dude, blow the whistle. And the fucking referee's like, goal, 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 goal. He was so excited to call it a goal, and it's like, all right, chill, dude. Like, we get it. You want Boston to win. You're trying to fix it for them to win. Like, calm down. Like, jeez, you gotta at least be more subtle. At least don't show you're fucking rigging it. And, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. And then there was another call, too, that with, with fucking Martian and, and what I think it was it. Jensen, what a save! What a save! Now, that one, I gotta look at. That one, I know that went my glove. That was a nice one. That I wanna look at. Because he passed it right over O'Reilly, right over to Scandella. That's right, they got him and Spurgeon now for Minnesota. And I was right there ready for it. It's like, yup, thank you. And I'm glad I got rid of it because, see, look at that. They got it down there. Where's the face-off? I can give up another goal. Come on, guys, I really need you to score. Oh, God. I was going to try to pass it, too, but... Well, our last two games, how about that? Versus Dallas at Nashville. Neither one we will see because this is my last start for the regular season. I can, I can practically guarantee it. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure this is my final start this season. Not just in the regular season. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I know we're teammates, but you got absolutely fucked. <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I know it's so wrong of me to laugh about that, but that was hilarious. I'm so sorry. But, anyways, other than that, dude, the playoffs have been doing really well, except for, like, the Boston-Washington one. And it's not just because, you know, like I said, I like Boston, or, uh, Washington. I like the Bruins as well. That's the thing. It's it's not that. It's just, it's so obvious, and it makes it so unfun to watch, and it's unfair, and I don't like that. You know? Everything else, I don't know. I think that the refs have been been pretty good. It's just that series. Like I said, there was a one thing where Marshan got in a scrum. I think it was at Jensen or or whatever, and they they fucking gave. Oh, I, I don't remember who it was. 
it was somebody in like Martian and it, they didn't like either give either one of them a penalty or it was like they gave them both a penalty. It was really dumb. It was really fucking dumb when it should have only been Marshand. I believe it was... I think it was Marshand. I don't know. I'd have to see it again. Oh, how do you not score? Goodbye, man. I'm not trying to fuck it up for all of us. I don't know how many, you know, one-timer saves I can make. Oh, boy. But anyways, so... On that, yeah, man, the playoffs have been pretty good. Uh, the first game between St. Louis and Colorado happened, and um, I didn't get to see too much of that, to be honest, because I was well, I ate, and then I was um, uploading some videos and stuff. And, you know, I, I watched the Nashville-Carolina one. That was pretty good. Carolina looked as good as I thought they would. Colorado looked as good as I thought they would. Well, they had so many shots. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's go. I know he is. And I, I mean, I love me some Ryan O'Reilly, but I'm not trying to give him a hat, man. Okay. They're going to be pulling their goalie. This is crunch time now. I didn't realize we were this far down. Come on. Go get the empty netter, boys. Get the empty netter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Bro, I was excited for that St. Louis, Colorado series, but actually I'm glad I got it in watch because, I mean, Colorado just dominated. I mean, they have, they outshot him 50 to 23. I was like, damn. Um, and, and that one, that's a series. It's like, I don't really care who wins, you know. I'm not like the biggest fans of either team, but it's not like I, I hate them or I don't like them. I do like both. There are players on both teams I like. I love Ryan O'Reilly and Tarasenko and on uh, Colorado. I love Nathan McKinnon and Miko Rantanen, you know. And so, oh my God, I've, I would give up another goal with .3 left, wouldn't I? I would too. Whatever, we won. Doesn't matter. You can't take that away. We won. So, a fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, since we're almost at like a half an hour here. Let's just get right on to where James has to talk. We'll sim up. I want to see if we get any more cutscenes. And then I'm just... Well, I, if I got to sim the whole playoffs, I'd rather just do it now. You know, I'm not going to make a whole video of just simming games. That would be really dumb and boring, I think. But anyways, I'll be back. All around solid team effort in the victory. All right, jammed up foam board, so let's get to it. Enough for me. Time to hear from you, Brendo. Uh, I got to say, I'm really feeling our goaltending situation. I'm really feeling this team... It's all coming together. I kind of want the playoffs to start right now. They could. <laughs> well, the way they're playing, uh, this like they've checked the boxes all season long, right? And yeah, I, I think they would be in a great shape no matter the matchup in round one. What a relief not to have to worry about our goaltending, Jim. Kid's been good. Kid's been real good all year. Not going to dispute that at all. Okay, let's go over to Perry. He's on line three. Okay, that's not at all the response I thought I would get, you know, actually compliments saying how good I've been all year. Oh yeah, my save percentage went up to a 904. Well, to be fair, I had like a game where I only gave up two goals and, you know, had, still had like 28, 34 saves, something like that. And then I had that shutout. That's the one I had 34 saves on 34 shots. So that game, you know, yeah, it was bad, but it worked. Did it just say I'm 14, 7, and 0? No. A 14, 7, and 1. I know that because I just marked down my stats before I started playing this. And I was 12, 6, and 1. Oh. Okay, I was... Uh, no, I didn't sim it. Okay, and then literally back to back. All right. Why wouldn't you put your other goalie in back to back? I don't know. Okay. The regular season has ended. Only problem... <laughs> Well, hey, at least we get a good look at the reverse retro uniform. I was going to say, well, the only problem is that, you know, um, can't look at the other stuff. But anyways, I got, okay, stop simulation then. Oh, here we go. We got a new conversation with the coach. And an 
Yep, and here's James. Earlier today that they're going to go with the rookie on the bench when this oh. series gets underway. That thought everybody made yes, the starter, man. Don't play with me like that, James. And the kid will be forced to watch as the postseason gets underway. I understand the logic. I do understand it. You want to go with the devil you know in these sorts of scenarios because... You know, there is no tomorrow, really, in a lot of grand scheme of things here when you get into the playoffs. And so it's got to be a tough one for the kid to digest. A lot of people disagree with this decision. A lot of people don't like it. We'll get to that. Okay. So he says, for the playoffs, you're going to be our backup, which I already knew. But okay. Right now, the coaching staff feels this role suits you better. I'll be ready if you need me. I'll take any chance I can get to step on the ice in the playoffs. I pray regularly. I'm one of the best. Have faith in me and give me a chance. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyways, yeah. Let's give that answer. Be ready for the playoffs. Every team has an unlikely hero at some point. To be that player would be amazing. Call on me whenever you need me. Yep. You may have a bigger role in these playoffs than either of us can predict. Stay focused. See you later, coach. No, I won't. Because I know how the game works. I know because they, you know, from playing franchise mode and stuff, you play. They always have the starter in, and that's it. Like they never put in any other goalie, no matter how bad they do. Oh wow, we're playing Dallas, huh? Well, let's send to the next game anyway. And uh, oh yeah, that's uh, great. I got to look at both of these uniforms now. Yeah. Anyways, I didn't know there was another option. I guess maybe they had another goalie they were considering or something. That wasn't me. I don't know. Can I look at the... Uh, no, I can't look at the AHL, right? No. We got Philip Grubauer. I didn't know that was our starter. He's the 85 overall. There's no way I'm taking his spot. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Um, I know it's still super late. Ah, Kane did get 104 points. He did get over 100. I knew he would, but I didn't think he was going to beat that 110. And he only played 80 games instead of 82. Well, he's still a lot of games to play compared to only playing 70 the year before. But look at those, man. Um, oh, he was two goals away. Two goals away from having his best career year. Damn. That sucks. Well, he got it right between in the middle, you know, because he had 46 was his best, and he had a 44. That's when he had 45. Obviously, he didn't get the most assists or whatever, you know. But, hey, so this is what, like his third best season he's ever had? Yeah. So, I mean, he's like, hey, I still got it. Might be 32, but I still got it. And he definitely had it. Look at Jonathan Tays. Sure, he only played 72 games, but look at me, 82 points. He said, I still got it, too. Damn, that was actually a really weak year for... Oh, wait. See, well, yeah, see, he's been on the decline. Yeah, wow. For a while now. Hmm. Yeah. So he was never that big of a point-per-game player, and then they have a season like this out of nowhere. Wow. He hasn't been over a point-per-game or even a point-per-game in years. But the game said, hey, you're going to go over it and by 10 points at that. That's crazy. The Brinkett, I didn't even know he was an 87 overall, a medium elite. I didn't know he was that good. Ricard Raquel, I remember him on Anaheim. Dominic Kubalik, yep. And there's Dylan Strom, he's the medium elite one. I've been thinking about trying to get him on my, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Wisconsin team. Okay, yeah, let's go to the AHL. Who else we got? Oh, Malcolm Subban. He played 67 games. Did he play any in the NHL? No, he didn't play any. So, no, I was the backup the whole year. They didn't even have... Wow, I feel bad for him, though. Oh, really? I didn't know he could be a starter. Wow, okay. This guy's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, just a medium starter. How about you? Medium fringe starter. Eh. He did pretty good, though. Okay, and I did. Um, Well, I had another shutout more than Grubauer. How about that? I mean, I had four shutouts and 24 games played. He had three and 61. So, eh, I think that's a pretty good accomplishment, huh? You know? I know it's, like, only really, like, one legitimate shutout, but still. Okay, but I had a better goals against, and, a, well, he had one little bit better save percentage. Wow, okay. Cool. I guess we could stay in the goalies and... Oh, yeah, we got to go up this time. straight right in Chicago. Okay, entire league. 
it's all this stuff there. I'm not going to go through all this. Oh, let me show you who led the league in points at least. And who had the most goals. Forgot about that. Who had it? Panarin. Artemi Panarin with 111 points. You know, it makes sense considering in real life he had that. 69 games played, 95 points. So in 82, he had 111. Damn. Man, I wish he could have done that with the Rangers in mind, but he was close to it. So, I mean, not 111, but Kucherov with 109, and then Patrick Kane 104, Stamkos. McDavid, where's uh, Ovi? He might be with the goals, right? Oh, my God. This guy on the Rangers had 64 goals? What the fuck? Is this even a real player? Medium elite, 86 overall at 18. 64 goals? <laughs> what? Where's Ovechkin? Oh, don't tell me he retired. No, there he is. He's on Dallas in this one, too. I knew it. It wasn't just the Rangers. He's on Dallas on here. What the fuck's wrong with them? He didn't even do that good at all. At least for his standards, right? I guess. This motherfucker has 64 fucking goals in his rookie season. Get the fuck out of here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and uh, let's take a look at the uh, the playoff tree, shall we? I keep forgetting about certain stuff that I got to, you know, do. Well, we got us in, in Dallas, and then uh, Winnipeg versus Colorado. Colorado's already up one nothing. Anaheim and Vancouver. Edmonton and St. Louis. St. Louis is up one nothing. Dallas and Chicago, no. Uh, Anaheim and Vancouver, definitely not. Okay, but Edmonton, St. Louis, Winnipeg, Colorado, that's all legitimate. Um, East. Toronto and Washington. Well, Toronto's up one nothing. The uh, Rangers and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's up one nothing. Oh, Tampa Bay, Florida. A, hey, they're playing each other in real life. This cool. Uh, Philly, New Jersey. Really? So Philly, New Jersey, and the Rangers, no. The rest of them, yeah. So I don't know. It's, it's still whack. It's still whack. Oh, yeah. We got to play against Ovechkin and the Dallas Stars. Ugh, that doesn't even sound right. I don't know what it is with this game, but they just, you know, continue simming. Do I got a, any training points? Oh, I can't do training anymore? Man. All right. Let's just keep simming, man. <laughs> Let's just keep doing the uh, simming. I know we're getting kind of late in the video because they're already here, like about 38 minutes, but... Oh, look at that. We're already down 0-2. And they still got the other guy in. Oh, made it 1-2. Because I think we're at home now. Yeah, that's why I'm wearing a home jersey. And we tied the series up, so everybody who's been at home is one. <laughs> How about that? Now I'm a 76 overall. Okay. Oh my god, we won all three. Damn. We're going to win this series. We're winning four in a row, aren't we? No, I think they're going to tie it up. The current round of the play... Oh. Well, we won the series. Four to two. Now we go to play Winnipeg. <laughs> Watch this team go win the fucking cup, right? Watch them go win it. I don't know why I'm saving it. I don't need to save it, but... Just saving it anyways. Yes, I know I'm going to get done with the season on this before the Rangers win, but I'm not playing the playoffs, so what difference does it make? You know what I mean? The point was getting done with the regular season and the Rangers win before I got done with this one in the regular season. Plus, we'll see if there's any kind of cutscenes or whatever. We're down 0-2. But we were down 0-2 to Dallas as well. Now we got two home games. Let's see if we win them. Oh, no, we're down 3 nothing. This is it, man. We got to win the next four like we did against Dallas. There's one. Don't tell me they're going to come back. Dude. This game does 3 nothing comebacks way too much. Oh, my God. It's happening. We're going to fucking win this series, aren't we? Or at least force a game seven. How much you want to bet? Oh, okay. They did lose. Thank you. I got at least something was... At least legitimate. How much money did I finish with? Ooh, look at that. I mean, granted, nah, I know not no million, but... Okay, now I'll save it because in that way we can start simulating and everything. I wonder who will win the cup. 
Let's see who's left. Let's see who is left. We got <laughs> Vancouver and St. Louis. And, well, Winnipeg's going to go to the West Final. At this point, I kind of just hope... Well, I hope St. Louis wins it because it would be more realistic. And it could be Winnipeg and St. Louis. Um, t Toronto beat Washington. Wow. Okay, so the Rangers are out. Tampa Bay swept Florida. Wow. And, well, Pittsburgh won, so they're going to the East Final. Oh, God. I would hate if the playoffs were like that. It would either be Pittsburgh or Tampa Bay or Toronto. God. Ew. I, just, I don't really care who wins that one. I guess Tampa Bay. And I, I don't care. Damn. Oh, well. Let's just uh, simulate whatever happens, happens. Simulate day, I guess. How many times I got to simulate the day? Wait. Nope. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to keep simulating the day. I'm just going to go, like, towards the end of May. And see what happens. We'll just go to, like, May 27th. So the playoffs should be over. Oh, it was Toronto and Pittsburgh and... Uh, Winnipeg and Toronto in the Stanley Cup Final. Bro, Canada would be on high alert. Like, seriously. Like, that whole fucking country. They would be spazzing out. Who wins it? I bet you Toronto. No, it could be Winnipeg. Come on, Winnipeg. You can do it. You can do it. No, you can't. You, you blew it. I knew it. I knew it. They're going to blow it. Nope, they won the cup. Wow, that would be cool. Okay, if we get a Winnipeg-Toronto cup... Wait, no, we can't. Because they're both in the North Division. Never mind. But, it, like, if it was to ever happen, though, in real life, that'd be cool. But I would definitely hope that Winnipeg wins. Okay, let's just keep simming. I'm not going to keep simming one day per day. You know what I mean? What does it want me to do? Simulate to the next season. Thank you. Do I got any training? No. All right. Let me save here in case if anything happens, but time and stuff. The only problem is it's like, dude, I wish I could play like a full like three seasons and everything. All I know is that when NHL 22 comes out, I will, I promise you guys, I'll make sure to start doing this shit early and, and get through so many seasons really quickly. Because I mean, by the time I started it, we were talking like what? Oh, geez, not on YouTube yet till like beginning of February. So by like this time next year, I should have like multiple series done and all that. And season's done, I mean. So let's see what happens. We'll just go to next season. Okay. And the Rockford Ice Hogs won the Calder Cup. The Winnipeg Jets are your Stanley Cup champions. Boy, Jesse from Bardown would be super proud. What is this? End of rookie season. First career win. Okay. Over ten wins. Cool. Shutouts. Right? That's it? Like, he had all this music pumped up for everything. I thought I was going to get, like, some big surprise being, like, you know, here's your trophy, something like that. Or, you know, wow, you're an awesome goalie. Or you got traded. I mean, like, nothing. It was just, like, all this hype and nothing fucking happened. Okay. We weren't in the draft lottery. How the hell did Vegas get five and then get the three? Detroit wins the draft lottery with Calgary being second. Good for both of them. I hope they get really good players. They need it. Vegas does not. Boston? Why the hell would they originally have won? Good thing they fell to four. Like, they fucking need it. They weren't even in the playoffs. My God, were they the worst team in the league? What? Anyways, I can't go anywhere because I'm on my rookie contract. That's the other thing, too, why I wanted to get, like, you know, past the third season. That way I can decide if I want to stay with the team or whatever. Oh, we got a new conversation with their agent. And delivered yes the entry level contract better known technically what? as the this happens when you get drafted no 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 what contract it's time to find out if he can live up to the hype what fans would love to see him make that jump to here it is we get yeah you, it was just the exact same contract that got last year but for three years right. now it's this too it. the honeymoon's almost over what because it's time to shine oh come, come on EA all right still to come come on Come on, EA. Now, that's super lazy. You did the exact same cutscene, even where James says, you know, the whatever, something, yeah, you know me. Like, really the exact same cutscene that you get when you get fucking drafted? And you sign it. All you did was literally just change the three years to a two. That's weak. That's really weak, EA. That's super lazy. Shame on you for that. 
shame on you. There's a lot of things to be shameful for. You know, ultimate team and, you know, scamming kids out of money and everything. But, you know, I mean, you finally tried to do this, be a pro, and there's just... You guys still ain't got it right. You're still lazy as all hell. You got so much work to do with this. It's better not be exactly the same next year. Like, that was the reason why I stopped playing, too. Because it was just the same thing every year. Boring, you know? Like, I love hockey, of course. Yeah, I'm going to play the games. But, like, it just it's bullshit when it's just the same shit over and over again, man. And, and this has so many flaws. You could tell they didn't put that much effort into it. You know what I mean? Like, they really didn't. It was just a lot of hype and a lot of disappointment. But it's still fun to play. I, you know, I mean, and we're, we're, you know, with sports gamers, it's tough. I've tried to stop playing this. Why I didn't buy Madden 21? Because everybody was supposedly, you know, supposed to be boycotting it. And I was like, fine, I'm right with you guys. I mean, fucking let them, you know, make a better game. And then I find out, plus the fact that they add, they literally added nothing new to Madden and Madden 21. Like, and they just, like, basically just try to hype up, like, these features that were old and then new as they always do. And everybody was bitching and moaning and complaining. Oh, I'm not buying it, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then their fucking sales went up 20%. I said, what the fuck? But, you know, I didn't fucking buy it. It's the first Madden. Madden 21 is the first Madden I don't own since Madden 97. Like, and I was born, I was born around that time. You know what I mean? So, obviously, it's like, I mean, I've been collecting them since then, you know? But, like, come on, man. Like, seriously, I've had every single Madden, and I stopped buying it this year because, you know, I thought so. But then I hear that the fucking sales went up 20% from last year within the first week. I was like, no, oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Anyways, we're already at 47 minutes. It's just some new preseason game, and nada. Nothing. Nothing special at all. Yeah, as I figured, there was not going to be anything special. It's just get right to the next season. No, no cutscenes. No nothing. Oh, here's one cutscene that was literally just copied and pasted from last year, but we changed one number in it. Ah, <laughs> uh, so fucking lazy. Well, anyways, that's it with this one. So, you know, nothing too big. I, I should have expected that. I should have never been. You know, hyped up for anything. I thought maybe they would edit one little something, but they did. But that was that was disappointing as well. You know, you add some fucking shitty dubstep music behind where you tell me about, oh, I did more than 12 wins, and you had this, and you had that, and then it was like, that's it. Like, that's all you had. You ain't beating that good. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, I know this was super long, especially for a goalie be a pro. Um... But this will be it. I mean, the goalie be a pro now is officially, like, this is paused. Just like the franchise mode with the caps is paused. You know. Um, and, yeah. Those are paused. And, and, you know, and then, like I said, I got to finish up the winger be a pro. Um, I'm going to go actually record some more defensemen be a pro with Calgary. Really try to get going with that. And then tomorrow I'll do some playoffs. And then that'll be it because it's just like, then it's just going to be... The Calgary defenseman be a pro and the expansion franchise mode. And then eventually, like, some MLB the show. Because, like I said, we're in the playoffs right now. So, I mean, once hockey's done, I'm probably going to lose to, you know, I guess, like, will to play this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Peace out, everyone. Bye.